our 600 subscribers, I'm doing a Q&A today. I asked you guys to post some questions about a week ago, and today I'm finally answering them. Let's get into it. Rusty1 asks if he can get a Big Mac with extra sauce and a Coca-Cola with no tomatoes. I didn't realize that Coca-Cola came with tomatoes. What McDonald's are you going to that has Coca-Cola and tomatoes? Yes, you can have a Big Mac. I give you permission to have a Big Mac. You should subscribe to Rusty1. Link in description. Aaron Kmart asks, do I sell turtles? No, but I'll sell turtles if you hit the subscribe button and leave a like. I'm not actually selling turtles, but still leave a like and subscribe, please. You know what? Let me go down to my backyard real quick because I might be able to find a turtle. <laughs> Are there any turtles here? I don't see any turtles. I don't see any turtles here. Sorry, Aaron Kmart. I smell pennies. <laughs> Sean asks how I got into coasters. Um, in 2016, I believe, for Christmas, I got season passes to Cedar Point, my home park. And um, my first big coaster was Iron Dragon. I loved it so much that I wanted to ride everything else. And eventually, I rode Millennium Force, and that was the coaster that really got me into roller coasters, so I got platinum passes the next year, so I was able to go down to King's Island, and then I just started loving roller coasters, and I started studying them more, and that's how I got into roller coasters. G Money asks, Mean Streak or Steel Vengeance? Mm, that's a real tricky one. Probably Mean Streak, because it has a better name. <laughs> like, why would they get rid of the best ride in the park, Mean Streak? Come on, Cedar Point, bring Mean Streak back. 2021, please. <laughs> Max Thrills asks two questions. He asks if I do any social media platforms other than YouTube, which my favorite non-coaster YouTuber is. I'm a Nintendo fanboy, so it's either Nathaniel Bandy or DGR. <laughs> Coaster Critic asks, what's my favorite POV that I've done? Probably the Raptor Backseat POV because it's newer and it sounds awesome because I got these glasses, which are a lot better than my old ones. These are Sunshine OHO video glasses. These ones were pivot heads and these ones sound a lot better so they sound a lot better and Raptor back row is just really fun to watch because of all the crazy transitions. So you can really see the front of the train getting whipped everywhere so that's why Raptor back row is my favorite POV that I've done. Hangtime Thrills also asks my top five favorite roller coasters and why. Oh my god, what's that one? <laughs> oh, That's crazy. Oh my god, they're going straight up! <laughs> now they're going straight down! My number four is Lightning Rod. It has a great launch, plenty of airtime that's amazing. Um, it's a little too short, but overall, it's a fantastic coaster. Number three is Skyrush. Very, very smooth. Um, very, very forceful. Um, probably the most intense coaster I've ridden behind Top Thrill Dragster. Um, possibly has the best airtime of any coaster in the world. Just doesn't have too much airtime, but it has a lot of great airtime moments and it has a lot of rapid transitions. Number two is Fury 325. Speed, height, airtime. Um, very good transitions. Actually pretty intense. Overall, it's just a fantastic ride, and number one is Steel Vengeance. Everyone has heard me ramble about this ride, so, um, Coaster Fusion, plug your ears. You don't want me to ramble about Steel Vengeance some more, but, um, not the best ride in the world anymore. It has slowed down, so Zodra's probably better, and El Toro's probably better, but it's still amazing, great airtime, great length, great inversions. It's overall just one of the best coasters ever created. Moose Coasters asks why he has the best YouTube channel ever. I'll put a link into the description for that channel because it's growing pretty fast and you should definitely check it out. Um, your channel is the best, it's obviously because of the amazing content like ranking the evil penguin movies, the scooter front seat POV, and whatever this is. Alright everyone, uh, you enjoyed that, that other video, actually I don't think you did but I don't care. Well, there's a, oh, oh, Ryan, there's, a, there's a train on top. There's a train on top. I repeat, there's a train on top. There's oh. a train on top. Look at it cross we over. See, we see yeah. Orion going. We see Orion yeah. going. We saw Orion going. We saw Orion. <laughs> <laughs> the Cobra videos 
asks what my favorite coaster in Australia is besides DC Rivals. Um, I haven't been to Australia, but it'd probably be Superman The Escape at Warner Bros. Movie World, whatever it's called. Something like that. Yeah, but probably DC Rivals is number one. Eileen asks, what is my ideal coaster? Uh, my ideal coaster is an RMC Giga Plus. Come on, RMC. We know you can do it. Just give us a gig already. Frosty CP52 asks the best draw on every BNM model. This is a big question, so um, I have a list here in front of me, so I'm gonna look down at this. Forgive me, please. Um, for gigas, it is the back row. For, <coughs> for hypers, it's the back row. For inverts, it's also the back row. For flyers, it's back row. For stand-ups, it's front row. For dive coasters, it's front row. For floorless coasters, it's front row. For wing coasters, it's back row. And for sit-down coasters, it's back row. I'm pretty sure that's all the models, so there you go. The Hitman Gamer asks, Favorite park and favorite coaster from that park? My favorite park is Cedar Point, and my favorite coaster from the park is Cedar po Steel Vengeance. And for parks I have not been to, it's probably Busch Gardens, Tampa, and Iron Gwazi. Giga Coasters Incorporated asks three questions. What is my favorite thing to do besides ride roller coasters? How many credits do I have? And what is my favorite manufacturer? My favorite manufacturer is Intamin. I have 78 different credits, and I should get my 100th this year if everything's open. And my 100th will be Ravine Flyer 2 at Waldemere. And my favorite thing to do besides YouTube is probably to do academics. I love school. <laughs> That's my favorite subject. I really love learning and all that. I like reading, but I also like to draw a lot. Um, in fact, I have an entire map of Ohio that I drew with every single road in it, and you probably won't believe me. Um, besides that, I, I do like to play uh, Nintendo video games. My favorite video game right now is Splatoon 2, followed by Super Mario Odyssey. Those are my favorite games. I also love to go outside. Horizon Coasters asks multiple questions. Again, there's a lot of questions here, so I'm going to be looking at this list. Torres Coasters asks, who goes to parks with me? Are they GP? How long have I been an enthusiast? What's an underrated model and what is an overrated model? An underrated model is the Intimate Impulse. Um, they're very intense, very fun. I actually like Wicked Twister more than Rougarou, which is at the same park. And overall, I think Intimate Impulses deserve a little more attention. An overrated coaster model. An overrated coaster model is Inverts. I like Inverts, but they none of them should make top 50 in the world. I know a lot of people think Pyrenees and Katoon and Nemesis should be top 50 in the world. I love Raptor, but I still don't think it's top 50 in the world. I mean, inverts are good, but they're not that good. I started liking coasters back in 2016 when I got a season pass. I am an only child, so my parents take me to an amusement parks, and I go with, or I go with Moose Coasters and Beach Cliff Studios. Link in the description for both of their channels. Um, they are not GP; they have coaster channels, and they're really nice. Um, my mom isn't an enthusiast, but she also is a GP. She likes coming to the parks with us just to kind of hang out. She doesn't ride much, but she definitely loves going to the amusement parks, and she also plans a lot of trips. And my dad is definitely an enthusiast. He loves riding coasters with me. His favorite coaster is also Steel Vengeance. Our last questions come from Piano Person 101 He asks the most questions out of anyone, I believe. What is my favorite park? My favorite park is Cedar Point. How am I not scared of rides? I know I'm not scared of roller coasters because I'm I'm not afraid of like heights. Those stuff on roller coasters don't scare me, and I'm so used to the sensations on roller coasters now that they don't really bother me anymore. Um, a ride that did bother me a lot was the up -throw, top throw dragster that launched really freaked me out in 2018. But um, now I can do it with. Now I can ride Top Thrill Dragster. I can marathon it all day if I, if I, if I had the chance, I would marathon Top Thrill Dragster all day. Should people be scared of rides? <laughs> people should not be scared of rides. They are perfectly safe. They're one of the safest things to do. They're one of the safest things to do. Ride roller coasters and rides at an amusement park. 
Um, if you don't like airtime or stuff like that, do not ride airtime oriented rides. There are rides for everyone. There's always a coaster or a flat ride. That's for you, even if you don't like some of the sensations. There's always a coaster that is the perfect fit for someone. So you should not be scared of coasters. Um, there's no reason to be scared. It's perfectly safe. And if you're scared of heights, you're only up there for one second, and then you're dropping back down. How old am I? I am 12 years old. I'm going to be turning 13 very soon. My favorite CP coaster and all CP coasters ranked. Well, I'm going to rank all my CP coasters. I have them on the wall behind me. I don't know if you can see that. Number 17, the Number 16 is your Number 15 is Iron Dragon. Number 12 is Corkscrew. Number 11 is Blue Streak. Number 10 is Rougarou. Number 9 is Wicked Twister. And number seven is Magnum XL 200. Number six, number six is Gatekeeper. Number five is Raptor. Number four is number four is Millennium Force. Number three is Maverick. Number two is Top Thrill Dragster. And number one is Steel Legends. And that's it. Thank you everyone for 600 subscribers. I answered all of your questions. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>